So some guitar tips. Now, when I was 17, um, I was much younger than I am today. And um, I was fascinated with Hank Marvin. Now, Hank Marvin could do things on a guitar that nobody else could. Or others tried, but they just, they just couldn't get the feel. Um, so I'm going to just say some things today that I found that, that Hank Marvin does. But first of all, some tips. If you ever play on stage, um, there are some things that will stop you looking like a twit. And I know this because I've looked like a twit and I've learned my lesson. Now the first thing is, if you're walking around on stage and you've plugged your jack plug, this is called a jack plug, into this, and you walk around, eventually, can you, have you panned down to my jack plug? You can see my jack plug? Callum, cameraman can see my jack plug. Eventually what's going to happen is you're going to stand on that and your jack is going to come out of the jack plug and you'll be in the middle of an amazing guitar solo and your guitar will go quiet and you'll look like you're playing air guitar and you'll feel like a twit. So how do you stop that happening? Well what you do, a professional guitar player will stick that up there and they'll wrap that around there and then you plug it in there. So what you've done is you've taken the strain up on there. So now if you stand on it, it's not going to come out of its little hole and you won't feel like a twit. So that's a good tip and I wish somebody had told me that. Another tip is if you are going to plug your jack plug in in the middle of a set or before you start to play, turn your amp off first because when you plug that in it's going to go and everyone's going to think what on earth was that and it doesn't look professional. Plug it in and then turn your amp on. Now with my amp, it takes a minute all to warm up and kick in. There we are. Right. How did Hank Marvin get his sound? On a, the on a, on a tune called Cavatina, or the theme from The Deer Hunter, he gets this thing going on where he goes... So it goes... Now when I was 17 it was amazing, I'd never heard anything like that before. And when you look at how he plays it, he doesn't do anything different up here. There's no difference between that note and that note. So what's he doing? Well the answer is it isn't his fingers, it's his foot. So pan down to my foot, that's my foot with my sock. Those are my toes. So what he's doing, when he hits the note, he goes... And he's using his foot to bring the note in, which is, this is called a, a volume pedal or a swell pedal. So that's off, and it's slowly on. Now, pan up. Here I am again. Now, to, to many people, they would think, what a fool. That's, that's, just, that's just common sense to do that. To me, that was a revelation when I discovered that, and, uh, and now I like to do it on stage, and it's darn good fun. What else can I say? Well, he uses a, a Vox AC30. I'm a poor man. I can't afford a Vox AC30. So I have a Line 6 which emulates the sound of an AC30. Um, so if you want to get Hank Marvin sound, what you need is a Fender Stratocaster, which this is. Something that either is a Vox AC30 or can make the sound of an AC30. And an echo, which goes... Or if you want it more echoey, it goes like that. Which we don't want that, that's too much. Although it can be good fun. So that's just a couple of tips. Um, I'm sure as I learn more, I will share more. Uh, but for now, bye bye.